Good afternoon, my name is Chase Robinson and my presentation is on the negative urbanization consequences on Apis mellifera colonies. Introduction and background. Honeybees or Apis mellifera are essential to our ecosystem and agriculture, pollinate about one third of the food that we consume, including fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Their role as pollinators is crucial for both crop yields and biodiversity of wild plants, which supports a, a variety of wildlife. However, honeybee populations face significant threats from habitat loss, pesticide exposure, climate change, and diseases, with urbanization and new construction posing particular challenges. By understanding how urbanization impacts honeybee colonies, we can take informed actions to support these vital insects, ensuring the stability of our food supply and ecosystems. First up is, uh, well, first, the research question, how does urbanization, specifically new construction development, negatively impact uh, the population of Apis mellifera colonies that historically occupy that territory. So first up is habitat loss. New construction destroys natural habitats um, and it often leads to the destruction, or excuse me, the, uh, the reducing availability of nesting sites for wild bee colonies. Trees, shrubs, and other vegetations that provide shelter and forage for bees are frequently cleared, disrupting the natural environment and forcing them to relocate. A study by Baldock in 2015 found that urbanization resulted in significant loss of natural habitats and nesting sites for wild bees, leading to decreased bee diversity and abundance in urban areas compared to rural areas. Uh, so in this example here, in this figure of 2011, uh, a study done in Switzerland showed that in these 89 field sites that were observed, uh, there was a great decrease in the population of the honeybee colonies where they could um, have their uh, natural available nesting sites. So they moved from uh, the building areas in black to the forest and green areas. Forage reduction. Um, urbanization typically replaces diverse bee-friendly landscaping with buildings, roads, and manicured lawns that often that offer little to no forage. The reduction in flowering plants means fewer resources for bees to collect nectar and pollen, essential for their survival and colony growth. A review by Hennig and Gasol in 2012 showed that urban landscapes often lack diverse and abundant floral resources, which are crucial for bee foraging. The study highlighted that urban gardens and green spaces with a variety of flowering plants can mitigate this issue. Increased pesticide use. Urban areas often have higher pesticide usage in gardens, parks, and landscape areas. These chemicals can be harmful or even lethal to bees, further decreasing their populations. Pesticides can also contaminate the few remaining flowers and plants, reducing the quality and safety of available forage. A study by Golson in 2015 found that urban pesticide use significantly affects bee health with neonicotinoids not sure how to say that, and other pesticides being detected in urban floral resources, posing a risk to foraging bees. Fragmentation of habitats. New developments can fragment existing habitats, making it difficult for bees to find continuous foraging grounds. This fragmentation can lead to isolated bee populations, reducing genetic diversity, and increasing vulnerability to diseases and environmental changes. Research by the the Guines in 2012 indicated that urban fragmentation leads to isolated bee populations which suffer from reduced genetic diversity and increased susceptibility to environmental stressors and diseases. Climate micro changes. Urbanization often leads to micro -clim climatic changes such as increased temperatures due to heat islands created by concrete and asphalt. These temperature changes can affect the bees ability to regulate the temperature within their hives impacting brood development and overall colony health. Research by Hamlin in 2018 demonstrated that urban heat islands can raise temperatures significantly, affecting bee foraging behavior and hive temperature regulation, which in turn impacts brood development and colony health. Introduction of non-native species. Urban areas often introduce non-native plant species that may not provide suitable forage for local bee populations. Additionally, non-native predators or competitors can also be introduced posing new threats to the native bee colonies. A study by Harrison and Winfrey in 2015 found that urbanization introduces non-native plant species, which often lack the nutritional content required by native bee species, leading to nutritional stress and reduced foraging efficiency. 
Conclusion and Significance Urbanization and new construction development pose significant challenges to the population of Apis mellifera colonies by causing habitat loss, reducing foraging availability, increasing pesticide exposure, and introducing environmental stressors. However, with thoughtful urban planning and conservation efforts, it is possible to create urban spaces that support healthy bee populations and contribute to their conservation. And attached are the following, all of my references, part one. And these are the references, part two. Um, just to summarize again, it is important that anyone that is getting involved in new construction development where uh, Apis mellifera has historically owned that territory uh, to consult a local conservation expert in the matters of making sure that the wild bee colonies are unaffected or to the best degree least affected um, by new construction development. Thank you.